Right, first of all, we have two uh, cardboard box pieces. Um, it also comes with three food racks and two drip trays. The first drip tray you'll notice has little uh, cutouts in, and these are for two handles that will slide in. And um, once that's done, we'll assemble the box pot. So that's complete. We'll move on to the actual boxes themselves. This is what we call the outer box. And quite simply, those will be there. Pull that one up. And that one's ready to go. Um, you'll notice at the top, it's got a hole. That's for an air vent. Uh, that's hopefully where the smoke should come out of. The second box is the inner part. Now, on each corner, there's some little cutouts. Those just get something pushed in. On all the corners, that there. Right. You'll notice on the one side it has a cutout. Make sure that when you put it inside the outer box that it lines up with this little door on the front. Right, so the inner unit simply slides down into the outer box, push it right down and that's it. The next item we want to put in the box is the um, drip tray without the handles on. This goes upside down right into the bottom of the box. And uh, you can get your tray with the handles on. That will go on to the first level. And then subsequently all your food racks go in above that. Once you've loaded her up with your food, you simply close the lid and you're ready to go. The box is specifically designed for use with our cold smoke generator which is basically a maze filled with dust which will burn for around 10 hours. Once you've got your food loaded up into the box, you simply light the candle, place it in the receptacle and wait for the dust to smolder. This usually takes about a minute. Uh, once the dust is smoldering nicely, remove the candle, blow it out and place the cold smoke generator through the door. And that's basically how it works. We're going to use this model here. Right, we're just going to demonstrate this with our demonstration model. It's got a window in the one side. This is not standard, it's only for demonstration. Um, so we start off with the base tray. Right at the bottom of the box. And um, the next item is your drip pan with the two handles on. That goes in the level above. And then you can start loading out with food. Uh, one tray in, and we'll throw a bit of cheese on there. notice we've cut the cheese to about inch square and this will just allow the smoke to permeate deeper into the cheese. If you use just a solid huge lump of cheese you won't get the penetration uh, so 
This is the way we do it. Right, that's your first level done. Second level, I'm going to just put a couple of chilies on, a bit of garlic, whole cloves, and a whole bunch of butter. Right, the butter is quite soft, so it will absorb the smoke, so that's the reason we don't cut that up. And then on the top again, we're just going to put one more rack of cheese, hopefully I can get this in without dropping everything off. And we're just about ready to smoke. We can now close up the lid. And uh, fire up a cold smoke generator. Right, so light the little candle that comes with the unit, pop it in the side and you'll see the wood dust, this is cherry dust that we're using on this occasion, will start to smolder fairly quickly. Right, the um, dust is smoldering nicely now, remove the candle, blow it out and pop the cold smoke generator through the little door in the side. Now, the cold smoke generator will burn for about 10 hours unaided and uh, this is sufficient to do most types of fish. We usually smoke cheese for around 3 to 4 hours and um, the box should start filling up with smoke fairly quickly. So I'll just go through it again. At the bottom, right at the bottom, you've got a drip tray turned upside down. The next is your cold smoke generator, which goes through in the side door. Just above that, you have your drip tray with the handles on. You'll notice the one food grate is actually resting on those handles. Put another level above that and another one at the top. Um, if you're smoking fish, we suggest you remove the two bottom cooking grates and just hang your fish down from the top grate. Okay, by now you can see the uh, chamber is filled with smoke and um, it's just starting to come out of the top vent. Um, the cold smoke generator produces a very mild smoke. Uh, when you're smoking foods, especially cold smoking, you do not want a heavy cloud of smoke. You just want a thin wisp of smoke tickling past the food. And that's all you need to give it some flavor. I'll just run through some what I think are obvious, but some people may not uh, pick up. Uh, it's made of cardboard, so don't get it wet or else you'll end up with a pile of mush. Um, we only recommend it for use with our cold smoke generator. This is what it's been de developed for. Any other thing, you might end up with a fire uh, and end up burning a whole house down or something like that. So, you know, please only use it as we describe. And if you look on the back of the unit, there are some instructions on the back there uh, that gives you basic instructions how to assemble the unit and also a few safety tips. So that's our cheese going and um, we will probably smoke it for around four hours. It's just a basic standard cheddar cheese that we're doing today. You can do mozzarella, you can do brie all sorts of cheese. Um, we tend to buy the cheapest cheese that we can find as the smoke totally transforms the flavor and texture and actually makes it taste like you're eating a high quality cheese. So thank you for 
watching this video and we hope that it's been helpful and given you a few ideas.